is a special day. Do you know why? It's Hearts Day! Happy Hearts Day, everyone! And what better way to celebrate it than with the love of Jesus? Are you ready for today's Sunday School? Alright, get your Bibles ready and let's go! Hello, kids! Do you know what day is it today? That's right! Another day for us to read and learn from God's Word. Looking back the past years, do you remember what it was like when loud thunderstorms would wake you up in the middle of the night? Or when you were so scared from sounds you can hear outside? In today's story, the disciples experienced the same thing you did. But before we get to it, let's close our eyes and bow down our heads so we can pray. Dear God, thank you for always comforting us when we are afraid and for coming down storms in our lives. Amen. Kindly turn your Bibles to Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41, and Luke chapter 8, verses 22 to 25. One evening, after a day of teaching by the sea, Jesus told his disciples, Let's cross to the other side. They left the crowd behind and set sail for the opposite shore, with other boats following close by. A fierce storm arose, and the waves crashed over the sides of the rocking boat. Sloshing, splashing water swamped the deck. Jesus had fallen asleep on a cushion in the back of the boat. Jesus continued to sleep soundly. The disciples were terrified. Teacher, they cried, don't you care that we're going to die? Jesus got up and spoke to the storm. Peace, be still. The wind stopped. The waves dropped. The sea was still and calm. Looking at his disciples, Jesus said, Why are you afraid? Where is your faith? The disciples were amazed at Jesus' miracle. They asked one another, Who is this? He commands the wind and waves, and they obey him. Nothing is impossible with Jesus. All he has to do is say the word, and everything goes back to normal. His words are that powerful. Now, I'll be asking you some discussion questions and feel free to share your answers to whoever is with you at home. Number one, what do you think the disciples were most afraid of? Number two, how did Jesus calm the fears of the disciples during the storm? Number three, what fears do you have? And number four, can Jesus calm your fears? How do you think he does that? Hey kids, hope you enjoyed that story. May we never forget of who Jesus is in our lives and how he continues to work. In times of trouble, may we remember that Jesus will always be the calm of the storms in our life. Here's our memory verse today to remind us of that. Mark chapter 4 verse 39 And he awoke, rebuked the wind and the sea, peace be still, and the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Let's do that one more time. Mark chapter 4 verse 39 And he awoke and rebuked the wind and the sea. Peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Nice one. Try reading it every day so we don't forget just how powerful our God is. Now let's check out our next activity Arts and Crafts. Hello everyone! Creation, do you know what this today is? Yes, today is Hearts Day. And with that, we will be making Hearts uh -huh. Day Hearts Day cards. So, let's get ready with our Arts and Craft materials. Also paper or bond, paper, colored paper, pencils, markers, or, or tape or glue. Let's go! Step 1. Making the base time. Using your awesome
pasta paper or bond paper, fold it in, into half, then draw a large part and write, I love you, to pieces. Yeah. 